I'm Bensley. Welcome to Chow Time. When you travel in Portugal, the protein that you find most often on menus is pork. Now you also find a lot of chicken, and you also find a lot of seafood because of the huge coastline that Portugal has. Well, my husband and I were in southern Portugal in the Algarve region, and we were at a restaurant. They had flank steak on the menu. Well, I hadn't had beef in like two weeks, so I was so excited. This flank steak hit the spot. It was packed with flavor, it was moist, it was tender. And so I'm going to do my best to recreate this Portuguese style flank steak. I do believe that flank steak has to be my favorite cut of beef. It's so flavorful, but it also needs to be marinated. And so yesterday I made this simple four ingredient marinade for this two pound flank steak. And all I did was mix together a quarter of a cup of olive oil, three cloves of minced garlic, one whole lime that I juiced, Mix that all together. And then I poured half of it on this flank steak. Flipped it over, poured the other, other half on. And then I topped it off with two bay leaves. And here is where the big flavor comes in. I'm going to mix together one, two, three, four, five dry spices and put this as a crust on the flank steak. So we're going to start with two tablespoons of chili powder. I'm going to add one teaspoon of ground cumin. half a teaspoon of granulated garlic, half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and one teaspoon of salt. Combine those ingredients. I'm going to um, get rid of the bay leaves and sprinkle half of this mixture on this flank steak. And we'll take it over to the grill. I'm going to put it spice side down, right there, so we can sear those spices onto it. And while that's happening, I'm going to sprinkle on the remaining spice mixture on the other side. I think about 10 more minutes. Let's check it out and see if it's done. Oh yeah. It's still juicy. There's not too much red. It feels tender. And 
I'm going to carry it over here. I'm going to set this on a cutting board. And I'm going to cover it for about 10 minutes so the juices from the meat can kind of reabsorb into the steak. Now, you want to slice it in very thin slices against the grain. Boy, is this juicy and moist. Oh my gosh, this is better than I remember.